This is Think Like a Master Electrician coming at you with another question. Let's get into it. You have determined that a conductor has a computed allowable opacity of 75 amperes. What is the maximum standard ampere rating of the overcurrent protection device that the NEC permits to protect a circuit? Assume this is not a motor circuit or part of a branch circuit supplying more than one receptacle. In a previous question, we discussed motor circuits and that you're supposed to go 125% when supplying a single motor. Uh, this is not a motor, so we're not going to apply that. And the second part of that is it's not part of a branch circuit supplying more than one receptacle. That's a key phrase there. But uh, the big part for me is the maximum standard ampere rating, and this is an overcurrent protection device, right? Those two are all you're going to need to solve this question. So if we look at our NEC, Article 240 is your overcurrent protection. If you look in the index, you'll just flip right to this page, uh, Article 240. We're talking about protection of conductors. And it says, uh, conductors are other flexible cords, flexible cables, fixture wires shall be protected against, uh, against overcurrent in accordance with the impasses specified and 31014 unless otherwise permitted through A through H. So there's power loss hazard. Part B is overcurrent devices rated 800 amps or less, which this is. The next higher standard overcurrent device rating above the opacity of the conductors being protect, uh, protected shall be permitted to be used provided in the following conditions are met. The conductor being protected are not part of a branch circuit supplying more than one receptacle for cord and plug uh, portable loads. That looks familiar, right? Not supplying more than one receptacle. And then the next one is it does if the uh, opacity of the conductor does not correspond with the standard ampere rating of a fuse or circuit breaker. And then the next one, as long as it doesn't exceed 800 amps. Well, what are standard? sizes. If we look at 200.6, we look at standard sizes. If we look at our answer choices here, we got 70, 75, 80, and 85. We'll see that only 70 or 80 and 80 are standard sizes. So that means 75 and 85 aren't even viable choices. And we know this is 75 amps. 70 is sizing down but the NEC code 240.4 uh, allows us to upsize to the next largest. So the answer is C.